We always finish the session with a recap, just so it lives fresh in your brains and solidifies some of the things that we spoke about. So let me ask you, what was that definition that I really liked? Can someone tell me? Yes, exactly. Personal branding as the process of intentionally shaping and managing the way others perceive you and your professional identity. If you can recall back, what are the common problems and impact that most designers have when they do personal branding? What would I say that was like, oh, most designers are doing this. That's right. Generic profiles, negative first impressions, which can lead to larger impacts like low self-esteem, uh, self-belief, and then actually overly impact your confidence, right? What are the common myths about personal branding? Hmm, testing your memory. Common myths, give me one. Uh, some people think it's all about self-promotion. It's only for extroverts. It's inauthentic, it's a quick fix. These are the common myths that we wanna break and we just wanna say, it's not true. Okay, what about the benefits of great personal branding? There's actually three, right? When we looked at the brands, we said these are the three benefits of personal branding. What were they? Your story stands out, you're super memorable, they trust you and they buy your stuff. In this case, they will hire you. So the next session, we're gonna talk about how to talk about your wins and unfair advantage. 